Hey, what's going on, y'all? This your boy, Jay Sewell. All right, y'all, Floyd seemed to be on the roll, man. He been putting the flamethrower to quite a few people this week. Man, he might have a checklist or something, man. You know, first Pacquiao got it. Dan Broner got it. Now Oscar got it today, you know. Uh, Floyd uh, finally responded to Oscar. I guess um, Floyd got tired of Oscar talking shit about him, so... Which, rightfully so, Floyd had a right to respond because Oscar just won't shut up about Floyd. The man retired, and, you know, instead of Oscar wishing Floyd the best of luck, he's saying that Boston going to be better off without Floyd, and he's sure going to miss those action-packed fights. Then, you know, to promote Canelo and Cotto, he got to say, unlike some people, this is going to be a real fight. So, you know, I guess Floyd got sick of it, and he responded by saying he don't see how people... I guess he was talking about Canelo, Kim. Respect a guy like Oscar who has a history of dressing up as a woman and snorting cocaine and, you know, among other things. So, you know, I guess Floyd responded. Maybe hopefully he'll get Ronda Rossi next and shut her ass down. Because to me, Oscar had this coming. I mean, Oscar didn't have no problem off Floyd when he was making money off of him. So why all of a sudden now Oscar don't like him and he talking all this shit, oh, I believe that I beat Floyd now. So, I mean, to me, it just come a time where you you have to respond to shit. You know, just like me and that fake ass nigga. I was going to let the shit go until the nigga opened his mouth up. So, you know, I had to put the flamethrower to his ass one last time. So, you know, I'm done with the shit. As long as the nigga keep his mouth shut, then it's all good. You know what I'm saying? I said what I had to say. You know, I'm on some other shit with this nigga now. So, you know, this shit passed uh, talking shit on videos. So, you know. But anyway, man. Like, as far as the Oscar thing go, you know, Floyd could have went in even more deeper on Oscar than what he really did. Because, you know, a lot of people try to pretend this shit didn't ha happen, but it really did, man. You know, y'all got to understand this Internet thing. You could pretty much find out anything, man. You know, whether people like it or not, you know, in the early 2000s, Oscar settled at least three uh, sexual assault cases out of court. Now, to be fair, he wasn't charged with anything, but he was accused of sexual assault by at least three different women. Uh, one incident allegedly happened in Cancun, Mexico. And if I'm not mistaken, one of the uh, alleged uh, victims or plaintiffs in the lawsuit was a 15-year-old girl. Now, I'm not saying that Oscar did anything, but at the same time, he settled out of court. Not once, not twice, but at least three times. So, that says a lot. So, you know, I'm not comparing him to Darren Sharper, but, you know, he did settle. And Floyd could have brought that up. But he didn't. He just really talked about the cross-dressing and the other shit. But, of course, you had, you know, some of these dumbass people get mad at Floyd. What I don't understand is why motherfuckers act like Floyd can't say nothing about nobody. Like, he just have to sit up there and let people talk about him and he don't have the right to respond. You know, I heard certain people, you know, talking about it and shit, you know, trying to twist shit around. Oh, well, what about how oh, Floyd... You know what I'm saying? I, I, I always bring up the shit with the women. Well, it's like this. He, you know, he paid his debt to society. Whatever, man. I don't know why people act like Floyd can't respond back. The man have every right to respond back. That They go that typical, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you know, be quiet. Don't say nothing. Shit. Like, you just got to, you know what I'm saying, keep your mouth shut. I, I just don't get that shit. You know, but as far as Oscar go, maybe Oscar shut his motherfucking mouth and stop acting like a jealous bitch when it comes towards Floyd and just move on. You know what I'm saying? That cross dressing and coke shit might be the reason why a lot of those guys didn't really sign with Golden Boy. That might be one of the main purposes why they, you know, flocked over to uh, Al Heyman. A lot of people know about that shit, and they, you know what I'm saying? They might have didn't respect that shit. I mean, come on, man. Would you respect your boss, man, if you found out your boss had a, a cocaine problem, and then he dressed up like a woman and shit? 
you know what I'm saying? Cross dressing and all that crazy ass shit. But you you respect somebody like that. Now it's funny, man. You know, um, it's funny, man, how you hear people call Floyd gay weather and all that type of shit. You know, I don't really participate in that stupid shit. Now, it's funny how motherfuckers don't be calling it Oscar De La Hoya, uh, Oscar Fagahoya or some shit like that. Now, it's funny people don't call that dude gay, but then they call Floyd gay. But Oscar was cross-dressing. And then who knows what he was telling them chicks to do to him in that room. So I, I like, I ain't even go, go there. Um, you know what I'm saying? I ain't even finna go in deep into that, but I'm just saying the double standard with that shit. You know, that's just funny how people be saying that shit, but you know, anyway, that's my thoughts on the shit. You know what I'm saying? Floyd was well within his right to respond, man. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes if a motherfucker just keep talking shit about you, and you try to, you know, turn the other cheek, then you have to put the flamethrower to him. And I guess he had to put the flamethrower to him. And he burnt Oscar's ass up. Because whether I, Oscar like it or not, man, people going to always jump at the chance to throw, th throw that shit in his face. I mean, certain people. You know what I'm saying? You know, it all depends on how much they like you and shit. It's funny how ESPN don't bring that up, but, you know, they fixated on Floyd's past. You know, but, you know, that's what your boy had to say about the shit. So, you know, I'm out.